What is up you guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Danielle and I'm a licensed hairstylist. If you're someone that's in cosmetology school, going into cosmetology school, or even just a hairstylist or none of the above make sure to subscribe I post a ton of salon vlogs regular vlogs hairdresser type videos and so much more so yes definitely don't forget to subscribe follow me on all of my social medias I always have them linked down below but as you can tell from the title of this video I'm going to be reacting to my old hair pictures from cosmetology school and I'm so excited I've wanted to do this for a while but I kind of wanted to like wait a little bit so that I could react to it when it was like a longer time ago so when I was in hair school it was from February of 2020 to October of 2020 and I unfortunately was in school during the whole COVID time so March was when it really set off and I started February so the month before so my time was a little bit different a little bit more difficult I did get to go in for the first month of February and then once March came I believe it was from like March to the end of June or early July I was at home doing zoom classes so I never really had a ton of hands-on experience but the second I got back to school and we were able to take clients. I pretty much had a client every single day until the end of school, but I still have quite a few clients that I posted on Instagram that we're going to react to today. So I really hope you guys enjoy. If you do, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. And when you get to the end of this video, comment down below what your favorite like hair transformation picture was from when I was in cosmetology school because I wanna know what your favorite was. So without further ado, let's get into it. I really quickly also wanted to say that I went to Tony and Guy Hairdressing Academy and I was there for the full month program. So that's why it was only February to October. It was really short, like only a nine month program. But yeah, I know I get a ton of questions about that. So just wanted to say that I do have like a ton of hairstylist Q and A's and stuff like that. So if you have any questions regarding that, definitely go check out those videos. But yes, all right, we're gonna start with my first client ever, which was my mom. So this was taken February 15th of 2020. So I was really only in school for like, I think 10 or 11 days at this point. So because we were so new, we actually weren't allowed to take clients, but there were like certain days we were able to bring models in. So say we learned like a partial highlight, whatever day model day was, we could bring them in, but we had to do the technique that we learned because it just made more sense that way. So my mom does get highlights. She also gets gray coverage and like haircuts and stuff. So the day we were able to learn a partial highlight, I was like, yes, I want my mom to come in so she can be my model. <laughs> so here it is. This was the first picture I posted. This was the second. This was the third. And then this was her before. So her before was pretty rough. Also, I feel like the lighting in my room that we were in was really warm so I feel like her hair was not actually this yellow or orange in real life but we just did a partial highlight on her I can't remember if I gave her a haircut or not but we didn't even tone her I think I love this picture more than the back and the front okay this first picture I don't know what I was thinking Ooh, it just doesn't look good right here I don't know what it is maybe it's the way I styled it like the layers look very off the highlights look a little chunkier in this picture and also one thing that really irks me in this picture is the background mm -hmm. I feel like the pictures that I post now at the salon like the background is a little less obnoxious and better lighting this background, there's just so many products. The chandelier, oh my god. The pictures in the back wall, the chairs, like there's too much going on that I'm looking more at the background and not at my mom's hair. <laughs> and I hate that, I literally hate that. 
honestly it really isn't that bad i think it's just the way it was styled and i probably could have done the partial highlight a little less chunky maybe some finer weaves but i feel like the tone was honestly good we didn't end up toning her even to this day i don't tone my mom's hair she doesn't like it she just likes the way it naturally lifts but i feel like i would give this a 6 out of 10 just because you know the highlights could have been better styling could have been better and the picture oh my god this first picture like no but yes still okay for my first ever client oh my god okay so this was another one of the models so this was another model day and I believe that week we were learning updos so we were able to bring in an updo model and this was also in February. She was actually in for like a prom trial, even though prom didn't happen that year because of COVID. <laughs> she still came in for a trial. Honestly, I like how like the bun looks, but I wasn't a huge fan of the braid and my sectionings. Oh my God, they were terrible. You can like see where the literal section is and then this picture this is the back again i like how the bun looks itself but that crown section like what was i thinking you can see her scalp you can see her cowlick i lived and i learned from this picture actually because i do weddings now for the salon and anytime i do an updo like this even a half updo I always take this crown section and brush it back and give it some volume so that this does not happen because <laughs> this is just not, no, not looking good. And then this is the other side. This side looks really pretty too, but you can still see some of her scalp showing. Like, I just needed to work on my sections and like hiding her scalp better. But for my first updo on a real person, I'll probably give it like a 7 out of 10. It's cute. I like how we added the face framing pieces coming out. And the bun really isn't that bad. But the sectioning and that braid could have been pulled apart more too. But yeah. We're going to go with 7 out of 10. I'm debating if I want to show you guys my mannequins. I feel like I might skip the mannequins just because I don't want this video to be like extremely long. But if you want to go check out my page, it's artistry.by.danielle. And you can scroll all the way down, check out my mannequins. But for now, I just want to show the real people. So now we're getting into quarantine where I took house calls and I also went to other people's houses. And I didn't really do a ton of people's hair just because, you know, we were in a pandemic and I wanted to be safe. But... This is actually just my boyfriend's sister. So I went to their house and I actually love these pictures. So this was the first one, second one, third, and then this was her before. So as you can see, we took a ton of hair off and did like a root smudge. It was actually at Wicked Nice. She went to her hair salon to go pick up color. And I loved how hair salons were doing that to help their clients out. So when she went to go pick up the color, she brought it back home. And I just applied the color for her. And I kind of dragged it down a bit to create like that root smudge. Because her hair was really only one solid blonde. And we kind of wanted to break it up, give her some more dimension. And then like I said, we cut a lot off. And I loved it. It came out so good. She comes to me now and we brought her back to the brown side. But <laughs> this is really pretty. So I'll give this like 8.5 out of 10. <laughs> Here is another quarantine moment. So this was the first picture, second picture, and before. As you can see in the before, I literally have my zoom going on in the background in this chair. But I remember this was more towards the end of quarantine. So this was, I posted it on May 28th. So yeah, it was towards the end and we were doing demos on Zoom. So we actually were able to use our mannequins or a human if we were able to. So we got to watch a specific demo that we wanted to. And one of the demos was the exact haircut that my mom wanted to get. 
So I used her as my model, we did the demo, and then I just had to like send them pictures of what I did. So it was kind of like a stacked bob, but I didn't make it super stacked. And we just added some layers, I believe it was square layers, or round layers, I don't remember. But I actually really liked this, the layers look nice in this picture, and I loved how the back looked. So this was definitely a little bit better from the first time I did her hair. But yeah, I'd probably give this like an 8 out of 10 just for the haircut. Okay, so for this next one, I posted this in July. So I was actually in school at this time, but we weren't allowed to take clients yet because it was still too early. And at the time, we were actually moving locations of schools. So on my days off of school, I still took some like people at my house. So this is one of my really good friends, Sierra. I'll show you. This is the first picture, second picture, third picture, and before picture. <laughs> so as you can see, we took her to the dark side. We made her hair. I honestly think I just used a one. This is the funniest shit ever though. <laughs> So she has literally the most hair ever. It's insane. So I went to the salon store, picked up her color, thought it was enough. Little did I know that a whole half of her section, I ran out of color. But thankfully, I live like five minutes away from a salon store. So I sped there in my car to pick up more color, sprinted back to my house to apply it really fast. But it ended up working out really well. So yeah, it was pretty much just all over color. And then I wrote in my caption that I gave her a trim and a sleek blowout. <laughs> like, why was I like that? But yeah, I love her hair dark. It just goes so good with her skin tone and her eyes. That before is crazy. Like, oh my god. But yeah, so I'll give that like a 9 out of 10 because I loved how that came out. Oh my god, I love these pictures. Okay, so this was in August and we still weren't able to take clients yet, but... This is actually one of the girls that I went to school with. She has literally the longest hair I have ever seen in my life. And we had some assignment that we had to do, some type of like board thing. And this was one of like my inspo pics, so I did it on her. And it's just like those bubble braids. So this was the first picture, second picture, third, fourth. And that's how long her hair was like it's crazy but yeah I loved how this turned out it was so cute and yeah I love that 10 out of 10 <laughs> oh my god okay here's another one of my mom can you tell who my biggest fan was my mom so I wrote as my caption of course my first client back was my mom <laughs> So now we were able to take clients. I posted this August 7th, and this was when I did pretty much everything for her. I covered up her roots, gave her highlights. I can't remember if I cut her hair or not, but this was the first picture, second, third, and this was the before. Oh my god. <laughs> this is quarantine hair at its finest. So I really fixed her up. I loved this so much better. I think it was just because we touched up her roots so it made it look a lot more blended. The highlights weren't as chunky. They were a little bit more thinned out and more even. And I really liked this. Again, we didn't tone. This is just natural lift. So I'll give this like 8 out of 10. All right, so now we're getting into the good, good stuff. So this was August 11th, and this was my first ever color correction. So let's just go to the before picture. This is the before. <laughs> so as you can see, there's like four bands in this girl's hair. She's got her natural root, like a dark orange band, a light orange band, and then blonde at the ends. And when she messaged me, I think she just said she wanted to like slowly transition back to her natural color, but still have like some dimension. So I'm pretty sure I ended up doing highlights and lowlights, which was like my first time ever doing that. And this was how it turned out. 
I thought it came out so good. It matched her natural color, but there's still some hints of dimension in there. These were all of the after pictures. I feel like if I were to change anything, I don't know, in this picture, the highlights on the side just look a little uneven. Like there's one stripe that kind of looks really light. I don't know. Maybe it's just this picture and the glare. The back of the hair looks so good. Except for like, I don't know, I feel like the highlights, I just didn't like tone them evenly. Because the top looks really light and then like some look really dark. So maybe that was why. But overall, it looked so much better than the before. So I'd give this like an 8 out of 10. Alright, so this is the next one. So this was her hair before. It was pretty much, I think she got like a blonde balayage somewhere else and she just wanted to add dimension. So I'm pretty sure I only did low lights. I can't remember though. Ooh, I don't remember. But this was how it ended up turning out. I actually really liked it. The only thing I don't really like is the top so we really never did like root smudges root taps root melts and i think she could have really benefited from one of those because just in this picture you can kind of see how it's a little bit streaky up top this was the other picture i took too the dimension looks really nice like i love how you see the dark but you still have light pieces but yeah that root area I don't know not liking it very much so I'd give this like a 7 out of 10 if I did a root melt though it would have been perfect all right so the next one oh my god this is one of my favorites from hair school so we're still in August this was her hair before okay I don't remember if she got like a blonde balayage or if she just had like really grown out highlights but we just needed to do something. So I'm pretty sure this was another instant where I did a balayage and added a few low lights in there but I actually didn't do a root smudge on her because we didn't really do that in hair school that much. So I did a hand painted balayage with a few low lights and it looked so blended up top. I loved that. I probably could have blended it a little bit higher in the back because it still looks really dark up top. So if I hand painted it a little bit higher, I think I would have liked it better. But I love the tone of this. It looks so pretty. Here's another picture. Yeah, so as you can see in the back, kind of like the halo section, I could have painted it up a little higher. And then this is the front. I just think this looks so pretty. It looks so much better than the before. So I absolutely loved this one. This one's going to get like a 9 out of 10. Although I felt so bad because I was with her for so long. When I was in hair school, I took forever. So if you were a client of mine in hair school, I apologize. <laughs> oh my god, yes! I remember this too. So... This is actually my boyfriend's cousin's girlfriend. Love her to death. This was her hair before. She had 100% virgin hair, which I was super excited about because every hairstylist loves working with virgin hair. It's just so easy. So I just did a hand-painted balayage. Again, I didn't do any root smudge, just toner, and it came out so good that I posted it straight because it looked so good straight. It looked so blendy and oh, I loved this. And I just like how natural it looks too. And we did a haircut, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, because it looks a lot shorter. But I loved how this came out. I kind of wish I like moved the hair a little bit because there's like two spots of darkness up top. I'm being so picky though. So if I like kind of did one of these like shuffled the hair over it would have looked so much better but i loved this i'm gonna give this a nine out of ten. Oh, okay so this one was another one of my faves i actually did a youtube video like a youtube um hair tutorial of everything i did for this so if you want to go check it out 
definitely go check it out. And this was when we finally like started to do root smudges and stuff because I know it. I wrote it in the caption. I did a root smudge and mix of balayage and foilage. I don't know why I said this. Like nobody knows what this means. But anyways, this was her hair before. So it was super grown out and she did get it lightened previously. I like begged her to cut some of it off but she really wanted to keep the length so I was like okay okay no worries this was the front of the hair this was another picture of the back and again this is the first picture that I posted but I remember doing this girl's hair and I feel like one thing I learned from that experience was resaturating already lightened ends that's why you go to hair school people you live and you learn I remember highlighting every single bit of her hair when I should have left the ends out because they were already very blonde and very dead but I highlighted over everything and I think the ends were just like a little too lightened I guess we can say so I definitely learned from that nothing broke off which is good like there was no damage it just you could tell that it was a little bit over lightened but I loved how this turned out I maybe could have brought the root smudge down a tiny bit more in the back because I just see some lines maybe that's just me I don't know but I loved how this came out the tone was so pretty I love the front it looked so good and yeah if you want to go watch that video again definitely go watch it and I'd probably give this like a 9 out of 10 all right now we have my aunt this is my mom's sister so this was her hair before I almost forgot to take a freaking before picture I had already applied her root color and I was like, oh my god, I forgot a before picture. But yes, I covered up her roots and then I did a full highlight and then put the red color over. And I loved this. This was my like first, I guess you could say, fashion color on a real person. And I love this because I love the dimension of her natural hair, which is really dark, to the red. I feel like it just made it a lot richer and yeah I absolutely loved how this came out I really don't have any critiques I love how this came out <laughs> I'll give it a 9.5 out of 10 to make it a 10 out of 10 I wish I cut it more but I don't think she wanted a haircut okay so my next one is my girl Ella so she came in this was her before and as you can see her roots were very very grown out and she had a very harsh line of demarcation so we could have done two things here i told her we can bring the blonde up and make you really really blonde or we can keep your rooted look and just drag the color down so there's not such like a harsh line of demarcation and she's like yeah i really like the rooted look so we stuck with that and this was how it ended up turning out i really liked it i I think I just wish I used a different formula for her root because it is a little bit warm. I feel like this picture kind of enhances the warmth a little bit more. The line of demarcation isn't there anymore which was like our main problem of getting rid of. But yeah I wish I used like maybe some NA in there. I don't know it just it was a little bit warm and I remember her saying that to me too. So. I just wish I used a different formula but to be honest when I was in hair school we had like <sighs> we were always running out of color so I probably wanted to use something and we didn't have it so I had to probably use something else but who knows so I'd give this like an 8 out of 10 oh my god this is one of my favorites okay so this is my girl Haley this was her hair before so I'm pretty sure she got a balayage like years ago and was just letting it grow out. So basically all of her hair is her natural except for like two to three inches in the ends. And it was August during this time but she wanted to like start her fall vibes I guess you could say. And this is stupid 
stunning. Like, I wish she still got this because I loved it on her. I just love this color. It made her eyes pop. She has like hazily green eyes, I think. So it just really made her eyes pop. And I absolutely loved that color. All it was was an all over color. So it was pretty easy. And I don't really have any critiques. So I give that a 10 out of 10. All right, so this is my next one. This is my girl, Nicole. So this was her hair before. Again, she had virgin hair, so it was amazing. And she just wanted a balayage. So again, this was the before. And something that really irked me about this was her halo section again. I definitely could have brought the lightener up higher in the halo section. I kind of wish I like did the mohawk and like took it down a little bit higher and did the balayage that way, but I didn't ever know that technique. So yeah, that really irks me because it's just really dark like right here <laughs> doesn't blend up as much um this was the front again i probably could have painted it a little bit higher but other than that i loved the tone the tone was really nice but yeah i really wish i had painted it higher but it's okay so i give this a 7.5 out of 10. Ooh, okay so my next one is my girl rachel so we ended up doing a blue black on her hair this was her hair before so it's just like a crazy transformation but i loved it straight i don't know what i did this is the first picture i posted but when i curled it i don't know what the heck i was doing there's like kinks in the hair up top and like only the bottom is curled <laughs> I don't really know what I was doing but I love it straight it looked so good straight I love this color it was kind of one of those where like when you were in the Sun you could really see the blue but if you went away from the window and like stood at the wall it looked a little more black but I freaking love this color so other than the curls <laughs> ignore the curl picture we'll just stick with the straight I give this a 9 out of 10 all right so my next one I loved this this was her hair before so it was super super light and she wanted to start going back to her natural color so I'm pretty sure I just did an all-over color this was the front this was like the side and this was the back and I added my little clips I thought I was so cool with these clips but I honestly loved how this kind of like didn't saturate everything if that makes sense because it added dimension to it i don't know if it was just because some of her hair was darker some of it was lighter so like the pieces picked up differently but i loved how this turned out <laughs> my caption fall vibes like oh my god danielle but yeah that was in september so everyone was like wanting their fall hair but yeah i'll give this an eight out of ten. Oh my god <laughs> okay so this is my boyfriend this was his hair before he probably didn't even get a haircut for like two months I kid you not and he was really really skeptical of having me cut his hair but he was like it's just so long like I need you to do something so this was the back this was the side and typically he gets either like a bald fade or whatever he gets some type of fade with the top cut shorter and <laughs> I don't know like I just I wasn't a good fader I guess you could say plus we don't have the same tools as barbers do but it really isn't that bad like when you look at it from the back it looks fine and when you look at it from the side like around his ear you can see I didn't blend it or fade it that well and like when you look at the back there's a little bit of a line in like the middle of the head so I didn't fade that that good but honestly it's not that that bad definitely could have been better but I don't have the same tools as barbers I tried my best I'm pretty sure this was actually my first like 
men's cut other than my mannequin so it really wasn't that bad and we just needed to take some hair off because look at how long that is before but I remember doing that and it was funny <laughs> uh, so I'll give this like a 7 out of 10 <laughs> moving on oh my god yes okay so this was my first keratin treatment this was her hair before oh my god and I also took this picture because like one side of her hair was a whole inch longer so I don't think we were supposed to cut it and I was like no I'm cutting it so we did like a long bob and the keratin treatment so to get certified in keratin treatment you had to do it on someone so she was my model and she went to hair school with me so it came out so good I mean it looked so much better than the before picture like look at the back look at how even that is I love it so I'll give that a 9 out of 10. Oh my god, I loved this girl. Okay, so well, this was the before. Her hair was so long and she had so freaking much of it. And she really wanted bangs and to get more of like a dark, deep caramel balayage. So even though in the before her hair was so light, we still did a balayage. I just toned it darker to be like more warm toned and caramel. And then one of my teachers helped me with the bangs because this was my first time ever cutting bangs. But it came out so cute. She looks so good with bangs. And I loved like the caramel highlights that we did. It's blended. I mean the back. I maybe could have like did my placement a little bit better. Plus this is a really bad picture. The glare from the window like makes her hair look blue. But the front looks good. <laughs> but yeah I like I liked the tone. The tone was really nice. I probably just could have done a better placement method with the balayage but other than that i thought it looked really good so i'll give this uh, an 8 out of 10. Ooh, okay so now we're getting into october so i really only have a few clients left this was my client's hair before and she just wanted to go back to the dark side but still have a little bit of dimension so this was the after i remember i did low lights and highlights not as many highlights i did more low lights just to get her to be more of a brunette but i freaking loved how this came out it came out so good whatever low light i used matched her natural perfectly and it just made it like blend so nice together but i loved how this came out i'm gonna give this a 9 out of 10. I loved this color. Oh my god, you guys. Okay, this is by far one of my favorites that I ever did in hair school. So this is my friend Bella. This was her hair before. She did have extensions in, but she said that when she got her extensions, they like weren't the greatest and they always kept falling out. And she wanted to get her hair highlighted, so I was like, girl, we are taking these extensions out. I don't care what you say we took all of them out and then I highlighted her hair and this is how it came out guys like look at that it freaking looks amazing so what I did was I did this whole halo section did very fine baby lights and like did a few hand painted pieces so that the ends could really pop and i did a root tap toner like i gave her the whole shebang <laughs> and then this was the front i loved the front and she was just so funny because she had extensions for so long and we were all telling her her hair looked so good short and she was like, no, I need my extensions. But she ended up keeping her hair short for quite a while. I still like talk to her to this day and she has extensions again. <laughs> and we just laugh about it. But I loved her hair like this. It looks freaking stunning. 10 out of 10. Loved it. One of my faves. And then this was my friend Ella again. She was the one that came in with like the really low root that I said was a little bit on the warm side. So when she came in, this was her hair before, and she just wanted to bring the blonde up. So I actually did the same exact technique as I did on Bella, the hair that I just showed you. So I did 
highlights around this whole halo section hand painted the ends and it came out so good she just has like a little bit different hair because there's so much dimension underneath when she was getting her hair done they had left out the hair like underneath to give it more dimension so when you look at the second picture you can like see how it's a little bit dark underneath and not everywhere else but she liked that about it so I thought this came out so good so I'll give this a 9 out of 10 I just wish like I kind of lightened the back a little bit more like underneath but it's all right and next one this is my girl Liv I absolutely love her and I love this picture so this was her hair before and this was it after I loved this color we kind of did like I don't really know how to describe this color I commented mahogany teakwood whatever the hell that means um, it's not really brown it's not really red it's like kind of purpley reddish brown I don't really know but whatever tone color it is it looked so good on her and I loved how this turned out if anything I think I'm being really picky but in this picture the bottom looks darker than the top I don't know if that's just me or the picture but that would probably be like my one critique but other than that I really like it so I'll give it a 9 out of 10. Oh my god, I loved this one. Okay, so this is my second to last one. So this was her hair before, guys. It was so light. It was really light, and you can actually see in this picture that her roots were growing back, and her roots are actually darker than her hair. So she wanted to go back to her natural hair color and do some straight across bangs because she used to have bangs. But as you can see in this picture, they grew out a lot. So she wanted to freshen them up. So this was the back and this was the front. She looked so freaking good. I loved this color on her. It made her eyes pop so much because they're like bright green. And I loved the bangs. I actually ended up doing these bangs on my own because this was the second time of me doing them. So I was like, I've got this. <laughs> And I think it looks really cute. I mean, I probably could have texturized the bangs like a little bit more to make them a little more like wispy and flowy. But I loved this. I loved the color. So 9 out of 10. All right. And then my last client before leaving school, this was her before and she just wanted like a more cool toned balayage. So this was the back and this was the side honestly i don't even remember what technique i did it kind of looks like i did balayage and foils i don't really remember but i kind of wish i blended it up a little bit higher some pieces look lighter than others so i kind of wish i did like a better toner or just something i don't know it's a little off to me I just wish I blended it a little bit higher and did maybe like a different technique. The back too, I don't know if it's because of the picture, but like the middle of the hair is light and then it looks like the ends are darker. I think it might be because of the picture. So I think I just took really bad pictures <laughs> for this. Plus she didn't want her hair curled. so. I don't know I think it was just bad pictures but other than that I really don't mind it I'll give it like a 7 out of 10 and it was much better than before her hair was like so warm and so grown out so it did look better than before but could have been even better I still do her hair to this day and her hair looks so much better now <laughs> so just glad she stuck around with me but that was the last client that i took before i left hair school so those were all of the clients that i pretty much had in hair school i do have like i said some mannequin pictures on there and i did take a few pictures of like a one length haircut that i did which i didn't show because it wasn't really like a transformation but if you want to go check those out Again, you can follow me on Instagram, artistry.by.danielle, 
and you can go check those out. Also, remember to comment down below what your favorite hair transformation was or hair picture that I did in cosmetology school was. But thank you guys so much for watching. Love you all, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.